Ah, here it is, the legendary Dim's Bulwark, the strongest shield in old school RuneScape, but this thing right here is so much more than just a shield. I've already made not one, but two videos in this thing before. I've shown you guys how it's insanely strong in the Inferno and how this thing has a max hit of over 400 damage with a special attack. The special attack doesn't just stop there at a crazy max hit though, it's got a range of 121 tiles, an AoE effect that affects 121 tiles. To put that into perspective, the second biggest AoE effect in this game is an Ice Barrage at 9 tiles. It's 13 times bigger than an Ice Barrage and it is just an insanely good weapon. But today, Jet X has finally come around to nerfing this thing. First they nerfed the Blowpipe, they nerfed the Rune Armor. Today they nerfed the Black Dragon Hide and the Dim's Bulwarks. So let's have a look at this nerf because it is not what you would think. So back in January they told us they needed to nerf the Dim's Bulwark because it is just too strong to be considered balanced in PvP. They said they wanted to reduce the melee defense by 25%, a pretty hefty defense reduction there, and reduce the magic defense by 25 as well, from 0 to 25. All seems pretty fair, the Bulwark is insanely tanky, but that there would kind of make it a bit useless, so people kicked off. They said they don't want it to be nerfed to Oblivion without them making it useful for something else, so this is what Jetix has done to the Bulwark. And it is insane, pretty much. There's no other word for it. Let's have a look. So they went ahead with that 25% melee defense reduction. It's minus 35 in stab, minus 36 in both slash and crush. But then they went ahead and boosted its crush bonus by 14. That's about a 4 to maybe 8% accuracy boost, depending on what other gear you're wearing. Then they increased its attack speed from 7 to 5, which is a crazy, crazy DPS boost. There's a wee graph they've shown what they've actually done to it. The speed one alone is like 25% more DPS. The accuracy is about another 5% or so. Then they went ahead and added this crazy little equation down here that makes you stronger depending on how tanky you are. There's never been anything like this in the game before, but basically if you're wearing max tank gear, your max hit goes up from what it was before was 32 when you're off a slayer task and 39 when you're in a slayer task. It has went up all the way to 46 off task and 51 max hit with this here shield when you're on a slayer task that means if you pop off the special attack that can hit 10 monsters and it hits the main monster twice that is 11 hit splats of 51 damage this thing can hit over 560 damage at the minute 560 damage from one special attack so then jetix got to that special attack had a look at it and was like you know what an attack range that is 13 and a half times bigger than anything else in the game. A max hit that is just way higher than anything else in the game. I'm not sure if that's strong enough. Let's put a wee buff there on the spec. They actually went ahead and added this new effect to the special attack which reduces the stats of whatever you hit. And you can hit loads of stuff with this thing because it's a massive spec by 5%. It reduces everything in the room pretty much. is highest defensive stat by 5% and it only takes 50% of the spec so you can pop off two of them in a row. It also attacks the main character you hit twice if they are bigger than a 1x1 one one tile. Kind of like the Crystal Halley, if you attack something big it'll hit it twice. So I think that might be a 10% drain on big creatures. I'll have to test that, I'll put it on screen if it is. But even at just 5%, that is a crazy good special attack. You can attack anything really strong in the game, it makes them weaker. So no matter what bosses Jetix release in the future, you can just come into them with enough people with the bulwarks, pop off all them specs, and it will just make them weak. It'll turn them into pretty much chickens. Although it is current level, maybe not chickens, it won't drop them to level 1. But it will drop them to like, I don't know, like a hill giant or something. It'll make them very, very weak if you get enough of these specs off. Oh, good old Jetix. Ignore everything I've said in the past 30 seconds. This thing is not balanced in any way. It's completely broken. Jetix have butchered this here little line of text. It says it's supposed to drain a monster's highest offensive stats by 5% if you hit, but instead it drains it by 10%, even if you miss. Two zeros there. This thing was 462 strength, and I hit two zeros. It should still be 462 strength. Instead it's 416 minus 10%. And that's not even the broken bit. No, that current value bit that means draining it down to level 1s would be pretty hard. That current value bit isn't even right here. It's 352 strength. If I drained it by 5%, it would only go down a wee bit. 10% would be minus 35. So we're looking for minus 35 here from 352. Instead, it goes all the way down to 306. It drains it by, what is that, like 46 strength levels drained. Yeah, pretty much 10% of the highest value 
drained with one special attack when it's already low. So the current value bit's wrong, the 5% bit's wrong, and the bit about you having to hit is wrong. You can hit zeros, it still drains it. I think Jetix will probably notice this eventually and nerf it, because at the minute, five bulwarks could just pop off two specs on any monster in the game and lower all of their offensive stats down to level one. So you can turn any monster into the game into a literal chicken with five people with bulwarks. That is just crazy. In hindsight, that special attack being a wee bit broken makes so much sense. I got this here after the update went live and I was like, oh, awesome, bulwark buff, let's test it out at a load of different places in the game. Head it out, test it loads of different places, including the Inferno, and in the Inferno, it just performed insanely well. Like, I'm a big noob at the Inferno, I've never made it to Zuck, I've made it to Triple Jads twice, but usually it takes me a lot of tries to get there, and usually I get completely wrecked, but in this run, I could walk through pretty much every monster, the melee ones could barely hit me, the big ranger ones could rarely hit me, see the blood fury spec, or sorry, the bulwark spec with the blood fury, it's completely broken as well, it's supposed to be a 20% chance of popping off, but it seems to run that check on every monster you hit with the melee attack, so if you're using an AoE melee attack, it pretty much heals you every single time, if there's like 5 monsters hit by that spec, it increases it from 20% to like 85% chance of healing. So pretty much every single wave when I spec the nibblers at the start, I was getting a massive heal. And then every other wave, it's just pretty easy. You take very little damage from anything. And then the Blood Fury heals you loads. You can do this step walk back thing with the mages. They do hit a wee bit with the melee attacks. But even them, they hit a mountain of zeros as well if you just tank them. I was tanking them a wee bit when I was full HP, you know. But I made it on my first attempt. All the way to triple jads first attempt in this melee setup a big massive noob at the inferno walked literally walked all the way to the second last wave in the inferno here I forgot about the bulwark as well you could actually aggro every single healer with one bulwark spec completely forgot that that would be possible but that would be really good for the jads as well I know you guys want to see what happened to me, so may as well throw this in here as well. Remembered about the bulwark in the triple jads, but I misclicked on the special attack orb and then I panicked. So I went in for the spec to get all the healers on me and it just didn't happen. And I was like, why didn't it happen? I wasn't really looking at the orb, I was looking at the jads. And I just pretty much panicked and got ripped to pieces. Even with me getting wrecked there at the end, I would say this setup in the Inferno is pretty damn awesome. It's not as quick as the meta, it's definitely a slower method, but it's much more AFK, much more chill, so definitely good if you want like a cheap AFK way to get up to the final waves in the Inferno. Second place I tested the Bulwark, it is also a new meta, which is a Nightmare Zone. So in here you can get these Power Surge Power Ups that give you unlimited special attack for 40 seconds and because this is the strongest special attack in the game it just means you can get crazy amount of points per hour and a crazy amount of xp i'm actually not doing it right here if you have one friend in here eight monsters will spawn instead of four which will make your xp and your points per hour much much higher it scales down after two people though it goes one person gets four monsters two people get eight monsters but then three and anything after three only nine monsters will spawn so your best way of doing this will be you and one friend in nightmare zone and you get really really high xp per hour really high points per hour here is getting 150,000 xp per hour and i was camping the bulwark what you should be doing is only using the bulwark in the tank setup whenever you have that power surge active when you don't have it active just switch back into highest dps gear but yeah pretty much the meta in nightmare zone at the minute is the bulwark third place i tested it was serachnus now usually it's serachnus you have to switch prayers all the time whenever she freezes you and walks away you have to pray range whenever you're in melee distance you have to pray melee i've done 600 plus kills down here and it's really tricky to kill her it's quite annoying but with this new setup because she's weak to crush you can completely wreck her it's slightly slower than before but instead of prey flicking you can just pray mage the entire fight you can just pretty much afk serachnus this was a wee team trip we done, then I soloed a few, and in solos you last like maybe five times longer than usual. It is pretty crazy in solos. I would say in teams you're probably better going with max DPS because with Crystal Hallies if you've got enough people you can pretty much insta-kill Serachna so I don't think it's worth it in teams but in solos definitely worth it. We took this thing over to God Wars as well, it's the exact same thing over there, slightly slower than the meta but crazy AFK, you take so little damage in this setup that you can just chill out, watch some YouTube, watch some movies and get your boss Casey up, get some juicy loot as well. Alright we're going to wrap this one up here, just to summarise, I think this update is awesome, I thought the bulwark was awesome before this update, it was really strong, especially for Slayer, the special attack was awesome but after this update 
the bulwark is now just so good and this here setup actually is really good as well it just brings a whole new play style to boss in an old school runescape a much more chilled way to kill stuff and all that kind of thing so i think it's really cool it mixes up the meta a lot i will admit though the special attack is a wee bit broken especially in its current form just to show you guys how broken it is and to finish this one off next is coming to old school runescape when it comes into the game its stats should look like this but if a small team of five players runs in there with bulwarks and they each pop off their two specs six seconds into the fight okay just six seconds in this is what next stats will go from looking like from this to this right here actually because the special attack has a max hit of 92 the hp will be a bit lower as well but yeah it's pretty damn strong anyway i hope you guys have enjoyed this video just a quick one for you guys today on the crazy bulwark buff i absolutely love it let me know what you guys think and i will see you in the next video very soon take it easy bye